Hi, this is Connor, and we're doing some role-playing today, which I hope people will enjoy. We're playing Doctor Who, Adventures in Time and Space, and I'm here with uh, Kevin and Sue. So, I guess we'll just get to it. Um, let's see what characters we have. Kevin, would you introduce your character, please? I am Cricket, and I'll read straight from my little bio thing. Brash, arrogant, and not particularly bright, Cricket was an independent space merchant who was fooled dozens out of petty cash, but has since misplaced all of the money. His goal is to find out if there is anything useful you can do with money that would actually make an ood happy. So far, no. So he is an ood. <laughs> oh, yes. So, oh, should probably mention that. Yeah. Tentacles, creepy creature. <laughs> Speaks through his brain in his hand. Through his balls. Yeah. <laughs> his, his ball. <laughs> his ball. And Sue. Uh, pussy galore. Uh, pussy galore is a cat kind? Cat yeah. Kind? Yeah, that's, that's where I am. I don't know much about Doctor Who, so I just wrote, um, I'm a cowardly cat kind, I like scratching posts and kitty kibble and milk. And my deep dark secret is dot 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 dot. Um, oh. I'm oh. <laughs> and my goal is to become brave and to keep <laughs> and to keep my secret. Okay, uh, we'll have to find out, maybe the secret is whatever made you cowardly. We'll have to find out later on in the story anyway. I know what it is. Oh. I oh. think. I'm not okay. sure. Give me, no, give me like a little bit. Okay, yeah. We, well, we don't have to explore yeah. it immediately. Mm. Okay, and I've also rolled in a character just to round out the numbers. I'm Commodore 65, a robot built by unknown designers out of bits of a 1980s computer. He has to keep his uh, tapes running inside his chest to continue functioning. And he has a mysterious tape number seven, which is corrupted. Who It contains some mysterious program that's never run correctly. His goal in life is to find his creator. So, um, this ragtag band of misfits are a spaceship crew. Oh, cool. So, that's how we're going to begin. Um, I guess because Commodore 65 has programming, he's the pilot. Sorry, he has piloting. Mm -hmm. Or transport, he's the pilot here. And uh, I don't know, what role do you guys want? Weapons expert. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do. I don't actually know anything technical stuff, though. Okay, well, I don't really either. Oh. <laughs> Neither of us know anything about technology. In fact, I'm not even sure what time period I'm in. No. But, yeah, I suppose I can shoot guns. I have marksmen, so I can probably use the guns if we're in trouble on the ship. Mm. Okay. And then can also order people about because I'm the loud, brash one. So I don't brash you. Yeah, I don't think I'm actually a captain, but I'm convinced that I am. Mm. So, yeah. Okay, now that's believable. Hard to starboard! Okay, not, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Commodore 65. Uh, I want to, I think I'm something much more like menial. Like ships cook and clean. <laughs> yeah, you? okay. I'm constantly cleaning up after myself because I shed on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have the captain, his, uh, his janitor. <laughs> and his and slash cook. And robot pilot, okay. Um, Well-rounded crew. <laughs> yeah. What kind of ship is this, actually? You're you're after money, so... Uh, yeah, I spent some money. I guess, on... I guess we're some sort of travelling con artist, then. Pretty yeah. much. Pretty much. I don't see it in such a negative light. I just found out recently that if I'm nice to people, they give me mm. money. And if I leave fast enough, they don't ask for it back. No. It seems like a pretty good deal, to be honest. Okay then. So yeah, no, I I I found a really kind of crappy small ship. Yeah. We're 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 not picky. We're I mean, as far as I'm concerned, we're not even troublemakers. We're completely mm. innocent. So you know, it's yeah. small. Got a little gun. You know, you if you want to film some details, but it's nothing fancy. Okay. It's kind of yeah. Marked. Yeah. But this works. A little, like, I don't know, smuggler ship or exactly. something. Yeah. yeah. And um. Yeah, I don't know. I I guess you hired us at the last yeah. place I'm you uh, to, yeah. were doing business. I think I'm trying to keep a low profile and I jump ship with the first people who take me. <laughs> okay, yeah, I basically found a cat and I've always liked cats, <laughs> so I let the cat stay. Thank you. And I've got a major obligation to protect the crew, so I guess I'm the hired muscle here, I guess. Yeah, I, no, I did pay you, or paid for you. I guess yeah. you're a robot. So I, I don't need you. Money. Don't need a salary, but yeah. Mm. But no, I, I I picked you up. You know. adopted me. <laughs> Sorry. So I just you're that... as far on in my goal as I am so far. Actually, you are the thing that's made me. I wouldn't say happy, but you've been the most useful thing I've 
done with money so far. So oh, that's I feel plus. very, very privileged. There you go. Okay, so um, we'll start the adventure anyway. So you're flying through space on your ship, uh, rolling around in your piles of money or whatever it is you do. And uh, suddenly you start to pick up a weird uh, distress signal. The oh. console's just beeping. Bleep, 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 bleep. Cat! Ah! Pussy! Yeah? The console's bleeping. No! no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, Christ. Why am I trying to command a cat? Robot, what's the signal? Sorry, C65. I like you, so I should probably know your name. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for remembering my name, Master. Anytime, Jim. What's the story? Where are we at? We are picking up a distress signal from... The nearby planet, Gamma 7. Oh, okay, sorry, yeah, I forgot we were in space. I think my... Uh, I forgot to mention, because I'm an ood, I have, like, psychic powers. I'm psychic, so I can read minds and telepathy. I can project thoughts. Um, I do not have a mind. You can I'm aware mind. of that, Jim. Uh- <laughs> I mean, you can read my mind, so technically you know my dark secret, too. If I really wanted to, but I don't even know you have a dark secret. Oh. Sorry? I mean... I'm, 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 I'm sorry. The, the, the signal. <laughs> I've never heard. You're just a cat. You're kind of cool. Yeah. Um, that's all. You seem kind of nervous. No, no, no. No, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, I was going to use my telepathy to try... or Because I read that in the book, you can suggest. But it says up to a kilometre away, which is very far, but we are in space. So mm, just no, it's, yeah, it's more no, than a kilometer. Yeah, I think it's more than a kilometer away. C sixty five. See if you can like patch a link through to discuss them. To so, yeah, to see if we can like communicate with whoever is giving the distress signal. Very well, master. Be careful. Um, I guess I'll just roll. Like, I guess ingenuity and technology is the one to roll for this. That makes. Do you roll two per thing, or does it just depend? Uh, yeah, you roll two things. You roll an attribute and a skill, usually. And oh, sorry, that was the attribute. Ingenuity. Yeah. Okay. So, I have got a six and a one that's seven, mm. and five is twelve. Plus my, so I've got fourteen, and I would say this would be a tricky task. Which yeah, is about it sounds a, kind of complicated. A fifteen level, so that's like a minor failure I've gotten, which is a oh, kind no. of you fail, but. Okay, right. so we get the gist. So you got nothing. You got nothing. C sixty five. I have not managed to establish contact with the ship, but I have been able to pick up their transmission. Mm. Okay, so transmission. Uh, so I know where it is. Patches through. Oh right. Yeah. Help us! Help us! This is the prison ship Valkyrie. Ah. We're going down. We're ah. going down. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Ah. Sounds good. Valkyrie sounds expensive. Sounds fancy. Sounds scary. It does sound a bit <laughs> scary. I can imagine them having gold medals or something. Maybe they'll give me one if I rescue them. What do you think? Oh, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It sounds, sounds crazy. Full steam ahead! <laughs> <laughs> Let's, can we, do we know roughly where it is? Can we land somewhere near on the planet? Yeah. Where it is? Yes, Master. I have detected where the planet is. It is planet Gamma 7. Gamma 7. Very descriptive. Thank you, C65. <laughs> <laughs> I may scan if you wish. Yeah, give it a go. Give it a go, Cricket. Okay. Uh, Wait, I'm Cricket. You're Cricket. <laughs> you are <laughs> Cricket <laughs> Master. <laughs> I am C65. I understand. <laughs> hey, it's weird. I'm GMing and I'm also doing all of the roles. <laughs> <That's so laughs> oh, yeah. It's because we have no useful skill. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, okay. When we get down, I'm sure we'll have a chance. Well, I got a 13 there, which isn't great. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, C65? You cost, I think, what counts as a lot of money. They said you were a good deal, but I'm starting to question it, to be honest. Uh-huh. I have managed to pinpoint the location of the ship to the western continent of the planet. Ooh, great room. <laughs> So we're within (laughs) half a continent's width. Okay. Perhaps if we got in closer, we could scan with greater resolution. Then something bad might happen. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) No, everything's going to be fine. Don't worry. Flip tape to side B and rewind. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry about that. (laughs) You're just, you're fine now? Yes, master. Wow. He actually went on tape. (laughs) 
I mean, I'm an idiot. But I'm <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. I really don't. Okay. I think we. I can, let's just go for it. Cause yeah. We don't know. I'm curious we don't, to find out what happens. Your curiosity is overcoming your fear yeah. at this point. I'm kind of curious too. Let's and go, I, I don't even have a natural curiosity trait. Mm. So there you go. All right. Okay. Onwards. So the uh, ship. What? What's your ship called? Actually, we never gave it a oh, name. Oh yeah. Jeez. Um. I'll have to do up stats for it as well properly. But oh, for we now, we'll just one. wing it. Sounds good. <laughs> what should we call our ship? Oh. All I can think of is like ships I know. <laughs> from games <laughs> you name it after a game ship yeah. we could call it the HMS Ignorance given yay <laughs> right. why not cool so our ship is the HMS Ignorance here's some okay um, take the HMS Ignorance in over the planet the and suddenly the uh, systems start to go haywire they're sparking from all the panels everything mm. starts exploding <laughs> Boom. Master, <laughs> alert. We have been trapped in an electromagnetic field. We are being pulled towards the planet's surface. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. How do we react? Can we fly away? C-65, can we escape? It is unlikely given our current velocity. Right. Prepare for impact? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna strap in my seat and light the cigarette. I don't know where it goes inside the oodly appendages. <laughs> Somewhere under the tentacles. Yeah, I just, <laughs> you don't want to see. <laughs> Maybe you unscrew the little orb. I was thinking just that on end. the little tube. Okay, just. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a rough landing, lads. Let's see what happens. All right, let's just shoot. We'll we'll go in. We've done nothing wrong. We're innocent people. Look. Yeah, yeah, totally innocent. Yeah, totally. <laughs> hmm. No. Yeah, no, completely. Yeah. I've never... Yeah. Okay, I I, I will attempt an emergency He's landing. I'm going to roll my ingenuity and transport... Oh. <laughs> Fuck me. We're all going to die. Okay, I've rolled a three, but my transport is like five, and I've got a specialty in spaceships, so that brings it up to a ten already. So is that enough to not Plus kill us? Plus two is for my ingenuity. <laughs> that's and that's my main away. goal here. Twelve. That's... Oh, that would work for, like, a normal landing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm totally dead, am I? <laughs> no, it's not too bad. Okay, the ship comes uh, crashing down to the surface. The planet is kind of... Well, where we land is kind of lush jungles. Mm. It uh, crashes into some trees. It scrapes along a bit. And then it finally comes to a halt. I'm really annoyed now. Because... Oh. When we were choosing our skills, you're allowed to choose the specializations in this. So I chose crossbow for marksman, which was kind of stupid. But for medicine, I was like, maybe I could choose like mm. jungle roots and berries and things. I was going to go for oh, that. And still, yeah, yeah. Instead, I went for the healing power of prayer. Well, that's good. Christ. <laughs> I'm a cat. <laughs> Christ, <laughs> I can um, hunt little things. Hmm? I can maybe hunt little things. That's true. That Something so really big. small yeah. and slow. <laughs> like, oh. Couldn't kill something small. <laughs> <laughs> and something big would just scare you yeah. away. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to, we I are well know. prepped to survive in the You'd jungle. have to scare me more to do it, I think. <laughs> so. I am a 12 foot yeah, tall robot. Exactly. I can provide fear. <laughs> and a boy, C65. <laughs> I have a fear cassette which can be loaded within three minutes. Oh no. <laughs> I'm going to keep that in reserve. <laughs> That's for a rainy day, that is. I have uh, my deep dark secret. <laughs> <laughs> um, so are we, have we haven't been tracked or beamed to anything in particular. We're just like Crash. kind of smashed You've just in the wilderness. smashed into the jungle, yeah. Okay, mm. we better get our bearings. Yeah. Do you know how to survive in a forest? Mm, no. Does anyone have any three. points in survival? Oh, you have oh. a little bit. You're you're a cat. You probably know. I have three know. in survival. There you go. I'd say you know. That's more to... than either of us. <laughs> Want to climb a tree? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. You're the cat. I don't know yeah. what I'm supposed to do. I, should, uh, I can climb up and get a vantage point and look around. Unless C sixty five can, unless he can do a scan, but I guess we're kind of screwed now. We're so I'm the around. guinea pig. I'll see hmm. if I can breathe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. That's a good point, actually. 
Right, Cat, uh, you're the guinea pig. <laughs> Actually, everyone roll your um, awareness and coordination. Oh, God. Oh. Am I coordinated? I have loads of awareness and coordination. Cool. Shit. Well, you roll two dice and then add those numbers onto it. Okay, so I have ten already, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, coordination two and what, sorry? Awareness. Ten. It's yeah. another attribute. I have 17. <laughs> I feel like I've gone blind. I have gone blind. Five. 14. 14. 17. Okay, Sue, you notice that something feels a bit off balance about the ship as you're moving around now. I don't feel balanced, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> but you're a cat, you're always balanced. <laughs> this has got to be serious. <laughs> Something's unbalanced? Is that what you say? Uh, yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, C65 confirmed. Master, I can confirm. Our orientation with the horizon is incorrect. Uh oh. Oh, so we're a bit wonky. Okay, so, well, our ship's kind of crap anyway, but I still don't really want to lose it because we might die in the jungle, which would be kind of crap. Yeah. Um, <laughs> C65, can you step outside, and this is far too intelligent for some of my lack of knowledge, try and push the ship? Yeah. Can, you're giant. Yeah, and you don't have to breathe you're or anything. You're absurdly strong. You, yeah. Can you push it back into the correct orientation? I obey. All right, C65 walks over to the ship's this door. the end of him. He uh, <laughs> heaves it open with his mighty claws, steps outside and immediately plummets out of view. Well, fuck. Um, I could always go and land on my feet, but um, I couldn't pick him up. Really. And hang on, I'm going to... Uh, Roll a bit of damage for him. Aww. Aww. Jim. <laughs> oh, sugar. He got beat up. Okay. Um. Oh, so that takes away from his things, right? We lose oh. attributes yeah. rather than have health. That's exactly. really cool. I really yeah. like that. That makes it way... It just simplifies things and makes it more kind of interesting. Mm. Okay, so yeah, C65 drops immediately out of view and you hear sort of... Oh shit. Uh oh. Thinking landing your feet down there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Captain. Hmm. I could maybe climb down and see what happened, but um I wouldn't be able to really get him back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um Alright. Do any of you want to take a look out, see what's going on? I'll do it if you make me captain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm scared, Captain. You you seem a bit scared, but I'm really curious to see what happens if C65 yeah. oh. you. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> put a gun to your head. Do it! <laughs> Where's your curiosity now? <laughs> I am. I want to see what happened to him and where worship is. Like a cliff, apparently. <laughs> okay. So you... I, I, I will take a look. Okay. So, yeah, you stick your head out the door and you see that uh, the ship has actually skidded over the edge of, like, a big oh. ravine and is... Um, Oh, like wedged. Hang- it? It's kind of tangled in a like, load of vines from oh the no. trees above, just oh. hanging over the drop. Uh, many, many feet below you, you can see there's sort of a raging river, and you can see C65 just floating off no. into the distance. Are you okay, robot? No. C. C. <laughs> Wilson. Okay. <laughs> right. What are our priorities here? <laughs> We're in a pretty immediate danger ourselves. <laughs> also, that's a good point, actually. I, I, I can always claw the vines and hope that our ship would survive the fall and catch up with him. But that's a pretty big if, <laughs> you know. I like those odds. <laughs> okay, claw the side of one so we kind of swing, which might be the so fall. Moment. Okay. Wait, now actually, this might split us up because you're gonna have no, to climb on the vines no. and cut them. And if you cut them, you're probably not going to get on the ship before it smashes. Unless it starts to weaken and you try and jump aboard. That would be risky. So either way, it's going to be scary. Which is scarier to you? Being left on your own in a mysterious wilderness or uh, jumping bravely onto a ship as it falls, plummets through the air? <laughs> so there's a lot of pressure for someone who's at the naturally nervous disposition. <laughs> 